This week you've been asked to create a frequency distribution table, a histogram, and a scatter plot. This video will detail how to create your frequency distribution table and your histogram. The first thing you're going to want to do is enter your data in the columns in Excel. Here I've entered age and pulse for a group of males. The next thing you need to do is create your classes. For a detailed explanation on how to do this, please see page 44 in the text. And what you're going to enter into a column, you can pick any column you want, is the upper level of each class. So my classes are going to be, the upper levels are going to be 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. Okay, once I've entered that, I'm ready to create my histogram and my frequency distribution table. You need to make sure that the data analysis tool pack is available. So what I'm going to do is click on tools, data analysis, and under data analysis I see that I have a variety of options. I'm going to click histogram, okay. On the input range, I'm going to input my values. In this particular case, I'm going to create my frequency distribution and my histogram for my pulse rates. I can only do one at a time. So in this particular case, I'm doing the pulse rates. And then that goes into my input range, my whole list of pulse rates. You can see here I've entered B2 to B25. And for my bin range, I've already created that. I'm going to highlight the cells where I entered my bins. In this case, it's E3 to E10. Clicking on this button takes me back to where I was. And now I'm going to select new worksheet. It's going to put my histogram. Um, if I, if I check chart output, then it will create my histogram. And it will also generate my frequency distribution table, even though I'm under the histogram thing. So once I hit OK, all right, it jumps me to a new worksheet. All right, it's still thinking. And in this new worksheet, here I see my bins. These are the upper levels. Okay, so from 0 to 50, I have none. From 51 to 55 I have none from 56 to 60 there were five from 61 to 65 there were five from 66 etc so here's my frequency distribution table and here's my histogram unfortunately the histogram usually looks this way and so I'm going to need to expand it I can do that by clicking on that block and dragging down and I can extend it this way as well Two things you'll notice about this histogram. First of all, it's not exactly a histogram because the bars, there's space in between them. The way I can get rid of that, okay, if you look at the definition of a histogram, there aren't supposed to be any space between them. I can go to options and then under here, the gap width, I can essentially set that to zero and then that will get rid of the space between them. The other thing you'll notice I'm just going to get rid of that. We all know we're doing frequency. Is that my bins are not properly labeled. So in order to properly label, I can come in here and change my label. 0 to 50. Whoops. Okay, 51 to 55. 56 to 60. 61 to 65. Okay, 66 to 70, 71 to 75, 76 to 80, 81 to 85, and then here I can say 85 plus. And now you can see that my bins are properly loaded, labeled.